Now I will discuss about the restriction pattern. Now, what is restriction pattern? After cutting or cleaving the DNA with a particular restriction enzyme at a particular sequence, then the DNA will present in two forms or in two patterns, and that pattern is called the restriction pattern. Okay, so that means the restriction enzyme can cut the DNA in two ways and produce the DNA which present which is present in two forms or two patterns that are the sticky end or the blunt end okay so at first i discuss about the sticky end okay so here the sticky end is also called the cohesive end or staggered end okay so now to explain the sticky end at first i use eco r1 as an example okay so now look at this this is a particular sequence that is 5 prime G A A T T C, which is recognized by this eco R1 restriction enzyme. And after recognizing this particular sequence, this eco R1 restriction enzyme cut this DNA at the phosphodiester bond in between these two nucleotides at the 5 prime end of the both stand. So you can see that. They can cut here and here. So you can see that this is not a parallel cut. That means they do not cut in the same position of the DNA. Okay. So they cut in different position. And then, then you can see that two fragments are present here like this. And you can see there is a single standard structure, single standard short, single standard overhang is present and as there is a 5 prime phosphate group is present at the end position so that this single standard overhang structure is called the 5 prime overhang that is a single standard structure single standard end so this single standard form is called the 5 prime overhang so let me write this is the 5 prime over hang 5 prime over this and this are the 5 prime overhang structure okay so depending on the overhang structure the sticky end can be divided into two types that is the 5 prime structure 5 prime overhang and another is 3 prime overhang another is 3 prime overhang that means at the end the 3 prime OH will be present. So, for example, the KPN1, which is another restriction enzyme, which recognize a particular sequence that is 5 prime GG TACC 3 prime sequence. And after recognizes, recognizing this sequence, then this KPN1 cut the phosphorester bond in between two nucleotides in the three prime end of the both stand and then they will give, give another sticky end structure like this like this sticky end structure okay that is the overhang single standard overhang structure and and you can see that at the end a three prime OH group is present and that's why this single standard single standard overhang structure is called the three prime overhang okay so these are the these are the two types of sticky end and now why this structure is called sticky end because as these two single standard structures are complementary to each other complementary to the, each other these two nucleotide single standard nucleotide structure is complementary to each other so when we bring these two new two DNA strand to each other, then they can base pair with each other so easily, very easily. So that's why this single standard, these two single stand single standard structure is called the sticky end structure. Okay. So now the another restriction pattern is the blunt end. Okay. So now at first to explain the blunt ended cut, I take small one restriction enzyme as for example 
okay and this mawon restriction enzyme recognize this particular sequence that is a 5 prime ccc ggg 3 prime sequence and it produce a parallel cut in the same position of the both strand but in the opposite side okay so this is called the blunt ended cut that is the parallel cut and then produce this type of two fragments okay so these are the blunt ended cut and produce 5 prime ccc 3 prime ggg this type of blunt ended cut okay and remember that this blunt ended cut require more energy than sticky ended cut to rejoin or recombine because in sticky ended cut they produce a single stranded overhang which can complementary base pair to each other so that they can easily recombine or rejoin but here they have no overhang so they require more energy to rejoin or recombine okay so remember that this is the two restriction pattern that is a sticking and blunting okay